Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can back up all the preferences in our installation of Reaper. Now this is great if you want to duplicate the way that your entire installation is, is set up onto a different computer or if you want to make a backup just in case anything happens or you may be reformatting the computer that you're working on and you want to put Reaper back to exactly as it was before. So let's take a look at how we can do that, the options that are available to us and how we can configure exactly what is backed up and what's not. So let's take a look at that now. So I've got my copy of Reaper open and all I'm going to do is come up to the preferences in the top right hand corner, click and expand that or I could press Ctrl P and if we scroll up to the top of the list you'll see the first option we have is general. Now there's tons and tons of options available in this and the one that we're interested in is export configuration. So if we click on that, it's going to bring up an export dialog box that allows us to choose exactly what is and what isn't exported. So you can see if we take a look down the left hand side, we can export the configuration, the themes, the plugin presets, the effects chains, the kind of things that you customize or create as you're working with Reaper to speed up your process, including your customized menus and toolbars, actions and key bindings and so on. So you can see everything by default is checked. So let's just say, for example, we wanted to take this over, but I wasn't interested in the actual uh, color themes. If we take a look at the top, you can see it says this includes 3,540 files, totaling 29.3 megabytes. Well, if I just uncheck the color themes, that'll go back, recalculate, and you can see we've now dropped off about 3,000 files and tw about 20 megabytes of actual data. So we can just choose everything that we want to include anything we don't want to include, we can just uncheck it. Once we've done that, we can just simply hit the save. That'll take us to, to the location it thinks we're going to want to save it, which by default is the Reaper configurations folder. But just for this example, I'm going to drop this onto the desktop so we can just take a look at this test one. So we'll just call this test installation and I'll just save that out. And that'll go through, run through all the different things we've asked it to save, and it tells us we've just written out three and a half thousand files to the Reaper config zip file. And we'll just OK that, and we'll OK this, and we'll, we're done pretty much on there. So let's just bring the file over. And as you can see, it just comes in as test installation dot Reaper config zip. Now, it's just a typical zip file. It's just been named with the extension of Reaper config zip so Reaper can read this information when you have it in the right folder. So if I just right click and I'll just choose to open this up with 7-zip, you can see all of the folder structure, all of the INI files and everything that's associated with the backup of all our configuration, all our preferences, our themes, etc., are all stored in this. So if I open up for example, the color themes, you can see all the themes that I currently have installed on my copy of Reaper are all in there, all the file sizes, everything exactly as it should be. So we're ready to sort of load that back in once we've moved over. So let's just close that down and let's open Reaper Backup. So let's just say we've moved our installation now, we've got a, a clean installation of Reaper. We just do the same thing in reverse. We simply come up to the preferences, scroll up to the general section, this time we choose import configuration. As you can see, it opens it up from the same default location as before. We can browse for this information. So we could just say, well, it's on the desktop. So the one I'm looking for is the Reaper installation config file that we just downloaded and saved. All I need to do is hit open and that will then go through the process of putting all those things back in and all the customizations and everything you've done to your installation of Reaper prior to making the backup will now be put into your clean installation of Reaper. That's all there is to it. I would recommend from time to time just running this just to make sure you've got a backup. So in the worst case scenario, if something happens to your installation, it becomes corrupted, you've got a backup that means that you don't have to go through the laborious process of configuring everything and customizing everything to get it back to the way you want it because you can guarantee you'll forget something and it will just not work the same as you're used to. So I hope you found this useful. I hope this is something that you'll do from time to time to make sure you've got a backup. And uh, if you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else on our channel, pop those in the comment section below. Remember, if you visit reapertv.co.uk, there's exclusive content not available anywhere else. And we release new videos every single Friday. Well, until next time, happy mixing.